the watchman of this nation. Can we also have a minute of silence to the over 2,500 innocent lives that have been lost in the southern Cameroons and killed with impunity by the French-led regime of the government of Cameroon? Can we also stand up to the over 20 people that have been burnt alive in their own houses? People over the ages of 80 who could not run away from the military of La Republic to Cameroon. Can we stand up and give a minute of silence to those women who are being raped every day because their future is already murdered, because their dignity is murdered, because they have no life as they stand and they do not know what tomorrow holds for. Can we give them that honor at this time to tell them that you may be far away from home, but you think about them. You may be in Britain and enjoy the freedom to express yourself. You may be in Britain and enjoy the security of the police officers. You may be in Britain and enjoy the law. You think about them who are being chased into the bushes. Can we give them that one minute to tell them to hold on strong that together we are one? And at the end, we call on one powerful comrade who is the chairman of the SCNC that will come forth and open this protest today, the 3rd of August 2018, which has been Christian standing up for the oppressed people of Southern Cameroon. After that one minute of, of, of silence, Comrade Tamji Robert shall come to speak to you and later on the Secretary of uh, the Secretary for Organization, Federal Republic of Ambazonia, Secretary Ambrose, shall equally come and shall speak to you before we can now move on. So at this moment, can we have a minute of silence, please? May the souls of the faithful departed and innocent lives of southern Cameroonians and even citizens of La Republic du Cameroon that are being killed every day rest in perfect peace. Amen. Amen. May the innocent people whose future have been taken away from them by the barbaric atrocities of La Republic du Cameroon be restored by your action today in Jesus' name. Amen. We call them comrades. Tamanji Robert, who is the chairman of the Southern Cameroon National Council, to step forward. Before you go, I'm just yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, before Ta uh, Tamanji comes, I want to express my sincere apology to the BBC News crew uh, for having kept them here for this long and we were not here on time. We want to say we are sorry. I want to say thank you for coming to cover this event. You are part of the history written agenda of the Southern Cameroons for taking our story to the world. We say thank you, the BBC. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, like we did promise you uh, today the 3rd um, of August, here is Comrade Tamji Robert, chairman of the ACNC in the United Kingdom, where you can see on him the inscription, Free the Southern Cameroon, who is about delivering a keynote speech here today in the stand-up for the oppressed people of Southern Cameroon's protest that has been organized by the entire United Kingdom, the Southern Cameroon's community, Friends of Liberty, West Midland Action Group, and the entire UK population. This is a cross-section of the population BBC represented today. And we want to thank the BBC a crew that the is here the to, for the documentary um, to make sure that this story doesn't go on part of This story has to be taken to where it has to be. We invite you to listen to Comrade Those who have been handicapped and those who have been displaced. As we speak, we have more than 200,000 
displaced southern Cameroonians and Amazonians in Nigeria. It is not a fault of their own. No one saw this coming. Yet they tell us that we are one nation. I find it very difficult, as much as you do, watching those gruesome images, day in, day out, minute by minute, coming back home, where our citizens, who are so peaceful, law-abiding, are being murdered just because they want to stand up, just because they want their freedom, just because they want their right, like any other human being in the world, like any other citizen, like the British citizen. My people, we are calling on the world not to stay silent anymore. Since November 2016, the situation in Southern Cameroon has changed for the worst. We have done a lot of protests. We have done a lot of talking. We have done a lot of diplomatic affairs, but yet nothing yet is taking place. We cannot afford to stay silent anymore. We are calling on the UK government that you put us into this mess. You put us into this unbearable situation. You have the moral responsibility to restore and to change the plight in which our people live. We call on the BBC that whatever transpires here today, please, take it to the appropriate quarters. Take it to those who will make uh, our problems solved. We call on the UK government that people are being killed on daily basis in South Africa. Why are they silent? Why is Cameroon part of the common world? We are in the common world because of who is Cameroon. The button is ours. Yes. But luckily for us, we are the generation Never of the again. social media. Now the world is seeing everything that's happening in Southern Cameroon. You testify, I testify. We are not giving up. We must continue to tell the world what Bia has done for our people. We must continue to tell the world that there is no document in the UN that stipulates that we have a union with these people. No document anywhere. That it was a botched union. That it was a conspiracy between the French and the English to lead us where we are today. Why did the UN give us only two options? Either by having independence, by joining Nigeria or by joining the Republic. Why did they not give us a third option that we can be independent? Why? Why? And that is where they must write the wrongs of history. That's why we are asking the UN and the British government that please, the abandon of the of the Republic, you must stop out this mess. My people, Mandela once said, there is no easy work to freedom. Africa is our land, but yet everywhere in Africa there is no peace. I cannot believe that in the 21st century we are still talking of neo-colonialism. I cannot believe that in the 21st century we have no freedom. I cannot believe that in the 21st century they tell us that we are one, we are indivisible, but yet nobody has come up, even the so-called Mr. President, to say something to the people, to appease them or to end this war. But we must rise up now. Wherever you are, please do your own part. Tell your own story to your neighbor. Tell it to the world that, that Southern Cameroon is under siege, that we are at war, that genocide is ongoing. Our people are killed every day, every minute. Sometimes I cannot sleep. Sometimes I cannot eat. Sometimes I'm restless, as much as you are. Today is another day for us to tell the world. Today is another day to open a chapter in the history of our fatherland that we must be free, that if the UK is a free 
fair country. Why is it not the same thing in Southern Cameroon? We are living in a world where freedom is a fundamental human right. But in Southern Cameroon, it is a luxury. It's something that you cannot have. You cannot even wear an NCSA t-shirt in Southern Cameroon and walk down the street. You cannot even speak anything about your fatherland. They will arrest you. As we speak, we have thousands of our people in Kundinge. Some have died, some don't even know where they are. Our interim president, we don't know where they are. They were adopted in Nigeria since the 5th of January 2018 to death. We don't know where they are. Some tell us they are in the Republic. Some tell us we don't know where they are. For me, I don't know what you think about it. I don't believe any story until I see. So I don't believe wherever they are until I see an image of them. We know that they are being persecuted just because they are standing for the right of our people, just because we want our freedom. That is why we must not let them down, my people. We must not let them down. We must fight to the end of the to the end of this struggle. We must give our energy. We must give our time. We must tell the world what it is happening in our country. We cannot be indifferent. Remember that we have our destiny. No one is going to do it for us. We will want to do it. If there's going to be a change, if there's going to be a free Southern Cameroon Ambazonia, we are the ones to do it. Because no one is going to do anything for us. Nobody is going to do it. We must tell the world. Others have done it, so why not us? It is our time, it is our moment, my people. So I don't want to take much of your time, but I believe that the BBC is here today. Today is a very monumental day, because they will take this story to the highest quarters and tell them that, as we speak, Southern Cameroon is under war. As you speak, there is systematic genocide going on in Southern Cameroon. The world cannot stand by while our people are being killed like pigs, like dogs, like animals. Time has come for the world to rise up and say, no, stop this war. Time has come for the world to say, it is time we dialogue and negotiate to go our separate ways because we are two independent people. There's nothing, as I told you, there is no document in the world, in the UN, that's the that we were together. So please have that in mind. Have that as your weapon. Believe in that. Our people were deceived because they knew we had resources. And that's why they don't want us to go. So my people, thank you very much for being here today. Thank you BBC for being here today. We will continue to see, we will continue to tell them what is going on. So please, thank you for coming. Don't give up. We must fight the fight to the end. No one will do this for us, I repeat it. Don't stay in your house and say, oh, that one the things. No. The time has come for us to do it. So this is the moment and this is the time. So together, we can make a difference. Together we can free our people. As we hold this de demonstration here, it will go right back home. It will energize the people at Ground Zero. It will energize those displaced in Nigeria. It will energize those displaced in the bushes that we are standing for them. And someday, someday, when we converge in Boya, we will sit back and look at history and say yes. When we were needed, we did our best. When our people were being persecuted, we stood for them. When our people were being murdered, we stood for them. We did not give up. We did not give up. So we are heading to Boya. No one is going to stop this train. No one will, no one will discourage us. Believe in yourself and know that we were an independent country. We must underline that. So what we are standing for and what we are asking for is a restoration of our independence. We are not like Biafra. We were an independent country. So please do not mess up this. Don't, don't, don't believe in anyone who will tell you that we were not independent. We were. And let me tell you, we were the first democratic country in Africa. The first democratic country in Africa as, 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 as it stands to date. Our first prime minister was Dr. Ian Delhi, who lost election to Kocha. No African country had that democracy now. So, this is it. We must not give up. We are a people. We have a culture. We have a heritage. We have a land. We have the resources given to us by God. And those resources, we must take that back. They have destroyed our land. They have destroyed our institution. But you know what? We will rebuild that nation. And we will be a replica of Africa. Thank you very much. And do not give up. Amba, Amba, Amazonia. Amba, Amba, Amazonia. Amba. I don't run tire, so maybe somebody's.
Thank you so much, comrade. Tamanji Robert, chairman of the SCNC, for bringing us back to history. And we have, we know this history so well that we can teach it even in the next years. And I'm sure history teachers or history lecturers of Southern Cameroon origin will be ashamed of themselves for having been deceived by a system that caused them not to teach the history of their ancestry to their own children. And ladies and gentlemen, you must have heard and read the restructuring of the interim government. We are proud in the UK to know that one of us who has been very committed to this revolution was called upon to serve the people of Ambazonia in another capacity. Now, we know ourselves and we know what we do and that is why we say thank you to the interim government for being honest and looking at the people who can work, people who can volunteer their services for Ambazonia and not for politicians who will be there to sing praises to individuals. We want to thank you, Secretary Ambrose, for accepting the responsibility to be a Secretary of State of the Federal Republic of Ambazonia. In time to come, we shall say we made this together. We understand how difficult it is for you at the moment, but you accepted the call, not because you want to be known, but because you feel like you can still help to organize our community. At this time, I call on you to welcome Comrade Ambrose, Secretary of State, who is in charge of organizing the communities within the Federal Republic of Amazonia? Rising, rising, rising. Amazonia is rising to fall no more. Amazonia is rising to fall no more. Amazonia is rising, rising, rising. Amazonia is rising to fall no more. Everybody, Amazonia is rising to fall no more. Amazonia is rising. Mandela is statue. You can any activity protest anything without permission from the afraid. Okay. You can do on the pavement side. That's the best city council. Can do Please we don't come back. Please 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 don't come we are not going to give up. We are not going to sit on any negotiating table until we see this deal. Many of our brothers and sisters have been killed. We have lots who have been displaced. They are in the bush. Many are dying from plague by Muslims. But let me tell you, the effort, the people of the people of the people of the humanitarian effort to help these people has gone a long way. I will say thank you to all of you, and I want you to keep that spirit up. Now, if you ask me today, where are we today with self-defense? I will tell you, we will continue protecting our people. We will continue protecting our people from the vicious regime who try to rape our ladies, who try to kill our children, who try to put this ever most of our young people. We will continue to fight this enemy without any rest. What I will tell you today is we are going into a different place, a place where we have to organize ourselves better. We 
are going to reorganize ourselves into what we call local government areas. What do I mean by this? We want you, those in the diaspora, to have a complete control over those areas in where you uh, where you come from in the Federal Republic of Amazon. So this reorganization will see us having a lower house of representatives whereby there's going to be seamless communication between the diaspora, ground zero, and the interim government. Mr. In this Mama. way, each and every Amazonian will have a voice in this struggle. Yes. Yes. It is through your contribution that we are, we are where we are right now. So what I ask of you right now is to go back to your community, tell them we are alive, we are going to push it. The enemy is vicious, but we are going to stand it. It is our right to defend ourselves. We, the people of Southern Cameroon, we, the people of Southern Cameroon, want one thing, and that is our freedom. There is nothing in this world better than our freedom. Sometimes, some of my friends will tell me, tell them to be, take all the resources and go and leave us alone. We just want to be free. That is all we want. So we have to fight with it, and the only thing is we must unite. We must be stronger together, and we will push it. Amazonia rising, rising, rising. Amazonia rising to fall no more. Amazonia rising, rising, rising. Amazonia rising to fall no more. Mr. Public Secretary, thank you so much. We are here. We're going to push it. Thank you. Thank. Can we put give a hand to the Secretary of State, please? All right. Um, ladies and gentlemen, the same. Ambazoni has graduated from behind every successful man there is a lady to beside every successful man is a lady. Because we believe in equality and we believe in empowering women. We believe in equality and we believe in empowering women. I want to call on our able comrade, comrade, senior comrade Angelina, who herself has her personal story. With regards to this revolution, she's got so much to tell the people of Amazonia and the world with regards to her personal experience. While she's getting ready to come up, I want to say this here, yeah, and like Eric Tato will say, quote me anyway. Ambazonia is real. And if you doubt the fact that Ambazonia is real, it means you are blind. You are like Ekema Patrick, who has refused to accept that Mount Fako is in Boya. The only person who denies the fact that Mount Fako is in Boya is Ekema Patrick. We cannot accept the raping of 17 year olds in broad daylight on our streets. Do you want to accept that? No. Do you want to accept that? No. No. We cannot accept the fact that our women are in butches and they are using leaves as sanitary materials. Do you accept that? No. Do you accept that? No. We cannot accept that Mami Api and many other women and elderly people are burnt alive in their own houses because they are vulnerable. They cannot run away from the military. And in that way, they get destroyed with their houses and burnt. Do you want to accept that? No. Is that the kind of society you want to build? No. No. We cannot accept that young men who stay in their houses are gone down like the one that happened in Boya yesterday. Is that the kind of society you want to build? No. Is that the kind of society you want to build? No. We cannot accept that. And if we cannot accept that, we have a responsibility to stand up wherever you find yourself. To stand up and speak. We have seen the BBC today. It takes a bit of lobbying. It takes a bit of f a few people to take the initiative. I want to thank our comrades from Wales for that fabulous job. We continue to stand together. And in the same way, 
We call on all of you to volunteer your talents, volunteer your abilities to lobby, volunteer your income, because the people on Ground Zero need you now more than ever before. Mami Api dies and is hoping that someone is speaking for her, and that voice should be your voice, and that is what you are doing today. The lady raped in Bamenda expect someone to speak for her. That voice is your voice. And that is what you are doing today. The young men butchered by Ekema Patrick in Boya yesterday, their blood cries out for someone to speak for them. That voice is your voice. The women in the butchers cry out in the wilderness, wondering if someone is listening, you have to give them that hope. That voice should be your voice. The number of people in southern Cameroon who do not know where the next meal is going to come from. The number of refugees in Nigeria, over 60,000, as reported by the United Nations. They wonder when they will return home. They look up to someone, you have to be that person. And that is what you are doing here today. Fellow Southern Cameroonians, fellow Ambazonians, it is in our DNA to stand up for justice. And that is why we condemn the killings of the two women and two children in the far north region of the, of the Republic of Cameroon in the strongest possible terms because we believe in justice and we believe that every life counts. The life of citizens of La Republic of Cameroon counts. Our lives count and we want justice because Ambazonia is a god of their nation. Let me draw your attention to this. If you look at the leadership of the Southern Cameroons at the moment, from the community in the, in the UK, there is no leadership without a pastor. There is no leadership without a prophet. And I'll be glad to introduce one to you today. You do not know. There is no leadership within the Southern Cameroon, from Chris Anu to the AIP. There is no leadership without a man of God. And that should tell you that whoever said this is a God ordained struggle, may have just said it. But the revelation has come to pass. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I think I could be a pastor as well. Yeah, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, to those of you watching, to those of you bystanders, what you can do to the men who are raped, tortured in the southern Cameroons is to call on your representatives to question the government of Theresa May, Her Majesty's government. What has happened to the values of Great Britain? Are these values only written on papers to serve a story for the books for the next generation? Or are these values written to be enforced and to promote the culture of this great country? We think that what the British government is doing at the moment is double standard and it only leads to lack of trust with the people who live in this country. We want to call on Her Majesty government to stand up. We are asking on James Lexton, the High Commissioner of Britain to Cameroon. For two years, James is still monitoring the killings of Southern Cameroonians. Every letter that has come from the Foreign and Commonwealth Office says we are monitoring the situation. It is shameful, appalling, and it's disgraceful for the Great Britain. So we call upon them today to stand up to the principles of the Commonwealth. We call on them to stand up for the values they preach and make sure the right thing is done. And the right thing is to be on the side of justice.
We equally want to thank the Metropolitan Police. When we met the notification for this protest, when we had a call from the Metropolitan Police, in their own words, we are very satisfied with the way you have conducted yourselves. And in that we trust that you can handle yourselves in the streets of Britain and pass across your message. And we encourage you to do that. And that is why you will not find any police officer here today. So we want to thank everyone who has behaved themselves and let us continue. It tells the kind of people that we are. But on the other hand, they made this. They said, one thing they are aware of is infiltration of our group. They warn that we should be careful for people not to infiltrate our movement and give us a bad name because we are already known with clean records. And so I call on all of you to be vigilant, to be vigilant at all times. No La Republic to Cameroon spy or provocateur should be allowed in our midst. We must single them out and we must notify the police who have the authority and capability to deal with that. Never should we take the laws in our hands. So in that, we want to thank you so much for all you've done, for the way we've conducted ourselves and for the way we have proven to the world that Ambazonia is a mature people and that is how we intend to continue. Okay, the share this thing. The famous world is one of the so they can't be ready. So the family will be one of the I think that's it. You might do a good job, but it will look like a close second because you people are talking to us. Instead of talking to the public, I would prefer that when you're addressing things that concern us, you talk to others. Yeah, that you need to know about our communication. You tell this public. People will come and listen to you. If, no, no, so what is that man talking about? They will come. But if you face us, my name is Patrick. You know me, they're fired. They're fired. Oh, the one you were telling me about the uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, I've never seen you. So no, no, we meet all the time. So, uh, you're going to come and talk very soon. No, I don't know how to talk. I don't know how to talk. I'm not, I'm not a public speaker, to be honest. But I'm just trying to. Those of you who can talk, if you do that, it will be good. Because if you're talking about us, it will be fine. See, if you have to go back to the club outside. No, no, there's no problem with this one. You can go and keep it to the other one.
Ladies and gentlemen, once again, this is the Southern Cameroon's community meeting, uh, protesting on the 3rd of August 2018, standing up for the oppressed people of the Southern Cameroon, oppressed by the federal, by the Republic of Cameroon's government. We've counted over 4,500 people who have been murdered. Over 20 people have been killed in their houses and burnt alive. We are talking about 60,000 refugees currently in Nigeria, 150,000 people currently living in bushes, as supported by the United Nations Charter. We are talking of over 450 minors unaccounted for. Nobody knows where they are, as reported by the, by the Human Rights um, Democracy Center for Africa. We are talking of over 71 villages burnt down by the military of Cameroon. We are talking of over 20 mass graves reported in the Southern Cameroons. And today, the Southern Cameroons Community Council to say no, we will continue to resist this injustice. You will realize that we have taken upon ourselves the responsibility to educate the public by, because the media has failed to reach out to the moral people of the world to tell them the story of the Southern Cameroons. And that's why you find our able comrade here telling onlookers and sympathizers of our revolution what's going on. Because they find it hard to believe that this is not in the news. They find it hard to believe that a crisis where you have over 4,000 people murdered, a crisis where you have over 60,000 people as refugees in Nigeria, a crisis where you're talking over 150 thousand uh, IDPs, a crisis where you are talking of over 81 villages burnt down by the people of South of, of La Republica Cameroon, a crisis where we are talking of um,
So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, sorry about that. Uh, so, uh, uh, that's the president of the Southern Cameroon Community, UK, Comrade Bernard Comfort, who is now our people talking to the public. Like chickens. And who are the people who put us in this, into this mess? The United Kingdom place us in this, into this mess. My people, we are here today to let them know that genocide is taking place in, in Amazonia as we are speaking now. You can pretend that you are not seeing, you are not hearing. But the time has reached that no, we are going to defend ourselves in one, one man standing. Whether by hook or by crook. Because Amazonia has risen to fall no more. It all started in 2016. We tell us that we could dialogue with these people and let them come to listen. Oh, for two years now, over 4,000 Cameroonians have been slain. But the whole world is tightly that they pretend not to hear, they pretend not to know. They were telling them that all your business is in Amazonia. All what you look at your office in Amazonia, your interest in Amazonia is going to be, it will be affected, whether you like it or you don't like it. You better align with us now, or we consider you as part of the enemy. Yeah, we'll talk to you. How many people are here to see what's going on? You can read it and better understand. Yeah, so what's going on? I was telling you the United Kingdom was nothing. Yeah. One of the days, one of our comrades, the group alone, the United States, the United States, one of our comrades, the group to the Republic, to know that this is what is going on. And the other group of our comrades is saying, you know, you don't pick something like a push bug in now. That's this. That's the youngest Ambazonian. We will yet to tell you. We will yet to tell you. I will tell you. I was saying that comes to Nelson Mandela. I wasn't there too. You call me now. Yes. I was, I was just hearing something. Yeah, I was saying that. I wasn't even hearing. I was saying come to where Nelson Mandela. Let them know. Let them know. Good. That Ambazonia is a people. I don't know I don't No, it's a not that bad. Where do you want to go? that bad. It's here. I'm a bad. Because the time has reached in which we cannot let our head. You thought that we were going to You thought that we were going to start at the
We have freedom fighters. We need to fight. We need to fight to the end. Am I right, am I right? No. Shall we pray? Our God and our Father. The better of all mankind. Lord Jesus, we stand before you this afternoon, this day, Lord, as one people, Lord, to kneel before you, Lord, as we are going to make our voices heard to the Londoners and the British people. Lord, we pray that may you be with us, oh Lord. 
further that there should be no incidences as we're going to march around the city. Mighty God, we pray that even those who are coming as spies, Lord, that you will put them to be in the pool, oh Lord. A mighty God, we pray, even those who have not been able to be here today, Lord, we pray that may you be with them, Lord, that they are with all in spirit, almighty God. Lord Jesus, we pray that may you hear our voices as we look forward to see our country back to us. Father, may you be the main pilot of our, of, of, of our struggle, oh Lord. Father God, we pray and put before you those who have been slain by the Republic forces, Lord. Those who have been wounded, Lord. Those whose family have been uh, have, are in the bushes. Those families that have, 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 have run into the neighboring Nigeria, oh Lord, we pray that may you be with them, Lord. Mighty God, we pray and put before you, Lord, that you are the only person that will have the solution to this problem. Lord, we know that you already have the Amen.